Once a project has a preliminary model, layouts may be created for plotting. This sheet has a title block, a plan view, profile view, north arrow, and a match line for the next sheet. This project has multiple sheets because the drawing scales need to provide sufficient detail about the project. So let's create a sheet for this project. Recall that this project has the horizontal and vertical alignment along with a corridor and sections. If the layout tab are not visible, right click on the button next to model and select display layout and model tabs. Select Layout 1. The default sheet is 8.5 by 11 inches. Right click on the Layout tab and select Page Setup Manager. Then Modify. Currently, there are no Printer selected, so pull down the list and choose DWG to PDF.PC3. Next, select the paper size. Choose ARCD 24 by 36 inches. Always plot the scale 1 to 1. Plus tile can be set to acat.ctv. All the other defaults are OK. Click OK. And close. Nadaleya shows the 24 by 36 inch sheet. Click on the viewport borderline to select it. Then click on the grip to resize the viewport for this sheet. Press the escape key to release the grips. Now position the crosshairs in the viewport area and double click the left mouse button to enter the model space through the viewport. Go to the scale button. Click the down arrow and select the 1 inch equals 200 feet for the viewport scale. Now pan the model view by holding down the roller on the mouse. Display the beginning of the project in the plan view. Verify the scale. It's easy to roll the mouse button when panning. Once the project is aligned, return to the paper space. This time, click the button that reads Model. Notice it turns to paper. This is another way to move between the model and paper space. Resize the viewport to display the plan view of the project near the top of the sheet. Right click the layout tab and select rename to name this sheet. Select the home tab and go to layer manager. Create a new layer and name it Viewport.
Set the color to orange. Create another layer and name it Sheet Layout. Make it the current layer, the color should be color index 7, then close. Check the layer states to verify that the current layer is sheet layout. Select the viewport border to grip it and place it on the viewport layer. Press the escape key on the keyboard to release the grips. Let's add another viewport by copying the first one. This one requires using the copy command in the C3D to retain viewport properties. Press enter to end the command. Go into the model space through the viewport and pan to the profile. Align it under the plan view. Return to the paper space and adjust the plan and profile views to fit the sheet. Now select the Home tab and verify the current layer. Select the rectangle button to draw a border on the sheet. Start the border about 1 to 1 and a half inches from the left edge of the sheet to allow for stapling multiple sheets. The border line must be drawn within the principal area indicated by the dashed lines. Type pedit on the command line to change the border line width to a bold line. Select the border, type W for width, and type 0 0.05 for the new width. This is the actual width in inches. Press enter to end this command. The procedure is the same to create a title block. Use the polyline to segment the title block. Notice that the ortho is on to keep the line horizontal. Now trim the line, follow the prompts on the command line to correctly execute the command. Again, use pedit to make this line bold. Copy the line to feather the segment, the title block as required. Notice the ortho button is on to maintain the alignment. Select the annotation tab it's time to add text to this drawing. Click the lower right button to display the text tiles. Create a new text tile for the paper space. Name it PS Text. The text height is 0.1 inches, which is the actual text height when plotted. Set current. Create other textiles that will be used on this sheet. One more. Revise the width factor on this tile. Now, there are three new paper space textiles to choose from. Zoom in into the title block. 
select multiple line tags. The text box is similar to many word processors. Click OK to close. Create another text box. The toolbar has a list of all the text styles, so change it to PS text. This is a smaller text for general information. Complete the title block as specified by the instructor. Text styles may also be changed on the annotation ribbon as well. Then try this other text box option, single line text. Follow the command line prompts to align and type the text. This may be some of the information required on the sheet. Always check with the instructor or supervisor to verify.